I'm Ina Freed with Recode. I'm here at uh, the TED conference in Vancouver, and one of the things that uh, is set up here, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with a bunch of their partners, have set up a sort of a mock clinic of how Ebola was treated and also the idea is what we can learn from the next epidemic or to prepare for the next epidemic. It's also the subject of a talk that Bill Gates is giving here at TED. As you can see, they've written my name up top, which is good for me because I'm starting to forget at this age, but also important because in these suits, who can tell who's who? In your day job, you might be a nurse, you might be a doctor, but when you go in there, you're a care team, mm -hmm. and those lines get very, very blurred. Right. We're entering a hot zone. Okay. The different kinds of things that you need to do, cleaning patients, moving them, administering medications, doing a physical assessment. So one of the things that we learned is you always have a buddy. So I'm here with Jane who's uh, doing some other tasks. And we're actually now in the zone where patients would be. There aren't any actual Ebola patients in the test zone. Uh, so they're having us do some tasks to kind of see what it's like to work in these suits. My job here is to make the bed, which I'm not good at normally. So we'll see how I do in the suit. So now I'm dispensing important yes. medication. Yeah. Again, this is the so actual the medication the used. The uh, M&M's and M&M's important. You you nice thing. I'm supposed to put three reds and four greens it's in noisy. the two cups. You're encumbered by all the So I'm here with Luann Freer, who has experience in the field. What did you do uh, during the Ebola outbreak? I worked for six weeks in Sierra Leone in a village called Port Global um, during the holidays when our unit was full, 108 beds of, of suffering people. And, you know, we've talked a lot today about sort of the, the safety impact and all the work that's going in the precautions. This doesn't happen in a vacuum, though. You're treating people. How, how hard is it to be in these very protective suits with these very vulnerable people and not being able to sort of connect more closely, more physically. One of our biggest challenges in Sierra Leone was the personal protective equipment. You had a limited amount of time that your body could physically stay in these suits and yet you have a, a, an award full of really sick people. The bottom line is if I can't get to them before my body expires in the suit, they get no care, so it was literally a Sophie's choice every day. How long can I last in my suit so that I can get to every last patient, offer them you know, life-saving fluids to drink, put an intravenous line in them, give them antibiotics to save their lives. If we could fix the problem of the personal protective equipment and stay in a little bit longer, I can deliver more care. That was our biggest challenge.